Keith, thanks for joining us today. Good luck with the rebound and thanks for stepping up and being a community leader on vaccinations. The Ice Dogs were back at the Meridian Center this weekend. Your TV was there covering the game. We thought we should check in with the venue's director of marketing, Kay Mayur, about some of the particulars for fans attending the games. Kay, capacity is at 50% right now, so that means how many people allowed in the arena for the games? Just over 2,500. That's a fair size. I know it wasn't quite that many in the arena on Saturday's game, but are you expecting the crowds to reach that level? Yeah, I think people are desperate to get out to the games. Um, you know, the, the game on Saturday was still a preseason game. Uh, the home opener is on the 9th, and I expect that we'll have uh, full attendance at uh, full capacity anyway at that at that event. So yeah, people are just, you know, everything I see on social and talking to everyone um, out and about, they are, they can't wait. They can't wait to get back into the venue. They're excited. Okay, I think with 19 months now of this pandemic, a lot of people don't know that some things are going on. It takes a while for it to sink in. What are some of your policies as you welcome people into the arena? You know, we're, we're certainly following uh, all of the government guidelines that have been set out. I think the struggle that some people ha are having is that there's been a lot of confusion out in the marketplace and where do I need my vaccination passport? Where do I not need it? Um, but I think for the majority and because we've kind of been able to test the waters with the preseason games, you know, people are following the, the policies. So yes, you have to come and, you know, we have it set up pretty great at the at the building. A lot of the people come over the bridge, as you know, and we have stations set up. So your first station is your vaccination station where you're ha showing security, your vaccination receipt and your government issue ID. And once you're approved from there, you head on to the to the screening and contact uh, tracing uh, segment of entry and then you go and get your ticket scanned. Uh, we've found that people are ready and excited. They've got their passport ready. Um, they just they want to be they want to be in there. They want to be part of the fun. They want to be back to the action. I had one gentleman say when he was coming across the bridge that he was ready to shed a tear. He was so excited. So yeah, I mean we're we're following all of those policies. And you know, Mike, it's been great actually. People are um, they're happy to be coming back. There's not been a lot of negativity. Sure, we see some of that on social, and that's to be expected. Um, and you can't, you know, we're never going to change anyone's mind um, about vaccination. But uh, you know, it is our policy. We're following what the government has set out, and uh, and we feel really confident and. And we're happy to, to see everybody coming in vaccinated. It's a lot of people to put in one space. So we're feeling really good about it. Is it slowing down the entry? Are you recommending people get to the arena a few minutes earlier than normal? Yeah, so right now the weather's been okay. The weather's been great actually, I think for every game we've had so far. But when we start to get into some chilly weather and we have to keep up with these policies, absolutely. We're asking people to self-screen at home. There's an app you can find on the Meridian Center page or you can find it on the Ice Dogs page where you can pre-screen within 24 hours of coming and then you take a screenshot of that. That seems to be the thing that maybe takes the longest. Um, coming through and, and showing the vaccine and the ID is, is fairly quick and the security guards are trained exactly where they need to look. So, you know, people will get in the building quicker, but it is gonna be time consuming when, when you've got that many people coming in and Canadians are notoriously late for coming to, notorious for coming to events late. So, you know, we'll often have people show up 15 minutes before thinking that they're gonna see the start of Elton John, not happening. You gotta, you gotta come to the building a little early and things are gonna take time. And I think for the most part, people were very um, accommodating and were really patient and, and kind for the most part. So it was, it, it's good to see.